Hi guys, Michael Inglewood from TDW and this week I'm on the road so I thought I would bring you guys with me and do a quick vlog from the road. Now, yesterday I was with Alan Webb who are based not too far away from where I am today. So I'll tell you where I am uh, in a second. The um, I popped into Alan Webb yesterday, had a good chat and meeting with them and their managing director and we talked a little bit about you know, the activities of TDW and how Alan Webb can maybe benefit from that and um, so hopefully there'll be some interesting stuff coming out of that meeting over the next couple of weeks. They've got some lovely lovely buildings there so I took some pictures and I took a little bit of uh, b-roll so you can have a look. They're based in an old mill which is just off an old canal which is really really pretty. I can imagine in the summer it's actually a really lovely place to probably not work but sit by the river and and have a coffee but where am I today well I am in Filton I stayed at the Holiday Inn Express last night which is just across the road from Abbey Wood now if you don't know what Abbey Wood is it's the DNS HQ these guys are responsible for all of the products and the supportability of the products that the UK MOD purchases and puts into service, whether it's um, land, air, or sea, or other projects. Now, unfortunately, I can't take you guys in with me because obviously it's a defense establishment, so they won't allow me to take pictures or do any videoing. I did ask, but why am I going in there today? Well, normally I come here because I'm part of the Combined Technical Documentation Working Group at the MOD and I go in and I sit in on that group but we've been invited in to attend a special forum today which is called the Professional Engineers Forum which is being held by the DSTAN organisation now they approached us mid late last year asking us if we'd be interested in supporting these forums so we said naturally of course because it's right up our street it's right up what we uh, get involved with every day of our working life so it's a short it's a small forum in terms of time it starts at nine o'clock and finishes at 12 but there's some really interesting presenters in fact I think one there's a Formula One team here talking about some stuff so when I'm done in there and I've touted TDW and what TDW is about and what our members do then I will give you an update on the way back to the office where I'll tell you what I learned who I met and who I saw so from a very it's actually quite mild today but from a very wet and dank Filton stroke Abbey Wood I'll give you an update later on so I just wanted to finish off this video by saying, you know, I'm now back at the office because we didn't get time to finish the video yesterday. I actually, I asked if I could record outside of Abbey Wood and it created a whole hoo-ha that I just couldn't be bothered hanging around waiting for an answer. So I just said to um, the guys, look, forget it. I'm going to go home and I'll uh, finish off from my office. Anyway, so we went into Abbey Wood and uh, as I mentioned previously, we were personally invited along to this event. The, it's called the Professional Engineering Forum within Abbey Wood. And it's, um, it's a special event where they just get together all of those involved in the engineering discipline within the MOD. Now, What's really interesting is that this is way bigger than tech data. This is kind of the stuff they were talking about was environmental protection. There was stuff that was talking about nuclear information. They were talking about lots of stuff that made our discipline of tech data look tiny. In fact, on one of the slides, they pulled out the um, ILS discipline in a, in a little bubble. And it was kind of a little bubble in amongst hundreds of other little bubbles. So, you know, engineering as a whole and not engineering as we know it in terms of our ILS processes or maybe supportability information. Anyway, so I got there nice and early with Irene and um, we, we set up and 
Almost instantaneously, people were coming up to us asking what we were doing, asking for copies of the magazine. Um, in fact, I had two really good conversations within the first 30 minutes that A, gave me ideas for some more tutorials, which I will um, add to the, our list of about 360 that we've got at the moment. But it really hammered home a couple of points for me that I've been trying to say for such a long time now that, you know, these are the things that we need to be worrying about. And I was speaking to a very smart lady, um, a serving officer in the Royal Air Force, who said, you know, and I won't say what she said because it gave me a great idea for a tutorial, but keep an eye on the channel and I will bring that out. Spend a bit of time with another couple of uh, teams, one where they're looking at platforms that are going to be coming into service in 20 years time okay and another one where they're looking at extending a platform that's been in service for the last 30 odd years in fact I used to service them when I was serving and we spent a lot of time about talking about tech data reviews and you know doing a, a deep clean on information because I gave him some of my thoughts on the platform and how it's supported with tech information. So we've been invited back in to go and have a, a meeting with them, which we will gladly accept. Anyway, a couple of really interesting presentations whilst I was at this event. It's only a very short event. It starts at nine, finishes at 12.30, and everyone goes home for tea and biscuits. It's just basically there was two really exceptional presentations. One that was from Will the Williams Formula One team, which was, I've asked Williams for some permission to use uh, some of the stuff that they've, um, that they mentioned. It was, it had all over it, commercial in confidence, you know, top secret, get shot if you leave this room, even repeating the words. And, um, but they talked about some really interesting stuff. And again, they gave me some ideas for, tutorials which I think would be very what Williams is doing is what we should be doing and um, so I'm gonna I, I've asked Williams for uh, permission to uh, use some of the quotes that were on some of their slides but if you're not into Formula One you know these guys are really innovating in lots of different ways that are affecting you and I today and we don't even know it. That was the funniest thing that came out of the presentation for, for me. The second presentation that was really interesting was uh, from an organization that does space imaging. Now, whether that's looking down to Earth or it's looking up to outer space and they were talking about their lens technology and how their lens technology is now kind of world leading, world class kind of lens technology. And it absolutely fascinating stuff. And, um, you know, some of the images that they were producing with their lenses were phenomenal. I think the thing that surprised me the most was some of the images, some of the wow images that they were showing or allowed to show during that presentation were of Pluto and of Pluto these images were absolutely stunning and yet it was with lens technology from 20 I think he said 20 25 years ago because you remember it takes so long to design launch travel and transmit information back to, to Earth, it all takes years. And um, so he was saying that the photos that he was showing was taken with lens technology from, you know, long, long time ago, and they were absolutely exceptional quality. Anyway, I spoke to um, the D-Stand guys. We'll definitely uh, go back again to the event. It was really worthwhile. Uh, you know, it was really more for... The reason we were invited is because we're about professional development of um, ILS engineers, tech pubs engineers, those kind of guys. That's why we were invited along. It's not a sales event to sell, to sell products and services. It's about um, helping engineers within the MOD to 
develop their skills, know-how and understanding. That's why there's people like the Royal Aeronautical Society there, uh, Institute of Engineers, Institute of Chartered Engineers or what, whatever they're called. And, um, and we were invited along and we were given the biggest table because we had so many giveaways, magazines, mugs, pens, pads, folders uh, to give away. It was a really, really good, worthwhile event. We met some really interesting engineers of some uh, excellent project teams that we didn't even know existed, which is uh, always a bonus. So all in all, it was a good couple of days. Um, you know, we had a little bit of a road trip, always try to create a road trip as I go over towards the Bristol area. We go over once every month or so, or once every couple of months. And um, I'd be interested to hear if you find this kind of vlog interesting and useful and informative. Um, but I hope you found it, all of those things. And um, yeah, we will be going, well, actually, I'm going back up to MOD in about two weeks time to go and see a project team I can't talk about yet. But hopefully I'll have some more news on that very shortly. Speak soon.